Well, how y'all are this afternoon? This is your buddy George Jones over here at the Bergen Gun Range with my next installment on. Hey, I got this old used gun. The old used gun I got today is this guy, the Taurus 415. The 415 is a large frame, six shot Taurus Magnum two inch revolver with. It has uh, Magnaport cutting out here on the end of the barrel, and it's a pretty neat gun. And one of the things that makes this a real neat gun is it's in 41 Magnum, a 41 Magnum cartridge. This is 41 Magnum, 210 grain semi wad cutter from Precision. We're going to give this old gun a try here. This is the 41 Magnum, bigger than a 357 Magnum, smaller than a 44 Magnum. And it's a pretty neat cartridge. Elmer Keith and his cronies developed this cartridge in the early 1960s. And in 1964, Smith & Wesson came out with a 41 Magnum 4-inch barrel revolver designed for the law enforcement market. It had a few problems. One of the problems was it had a lot more recoil than a 357 Magnum. Another problem was it costs a lot more than a 357 Magnum cartridge in a given loading. And that's an issue when you have a 700 man police force. It's an issue when you've got a 60 man police force because you're taking this gun out and you're shooting it every three months at the range, whether you like it or not, you know, and then you have to provide ammunition for the officers to practice with privately. So, you know, it, it runs into quite a bit of money. So that's one of the things that causes it to fall out of favor. Another one is that it has a lot of recoil for a police handgun. And <clears throat> the fact that it didn't come in a special. You know, there wasn't a 41 light. It was just a straight 41 Magnum. You know, 44 specials and then 44 Magnums, 357s and 38 special, but a 41 Magnum didn't have it. Now, there is a Wildcat round. You know, guys make Wildcat rounds for it, and we've got some, and we're going to give them a try as well. But this is a Taurus. It's a good Taurus. It's, it looks good. Got a whole mount of grip on it. It's two in a two inch barrel, you know, 41 Magnum, Magnum ported, six shot revolver. So we're going to give five. It's a five shot revolver. Uh, we're going to give this guy a try and see how you like it. So we're going to get some aminamidium, aminamidium cartridges here and let's load this guy up right quick and uh, give it a whirly gig. We've got a B-21 police silhouette set up at 15 yards. Get this boy loaded here. You shoot about two cylinders out of it and see how it shoots. And <clears throat> we got some ear mufflers on. Gonna need them. I got a feeling you're gonna need them. All right then, here we go. Let's try five on single action and see how we get down the, how far we get down the road with that. Let's see if I can shoot this guy straight. That was loud, and it has quite a bit of recoil for a lead load. And it's. Way up at the 11 o'clock in the 7 ring. Let's try it again. <coughs> mm. uh, yeah. All right, get that elbow up off the table because you can't stand it. <coughs> Ooh. This is a very unpleasant gun to shoot. Just tell you straight up. <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm. That's five. Let's try five more. Put a nice big bullet hole in it down there. <clears throat> Starting to get used to it. I might be able to shoot a little bit better this time around. All right. Here we go. I don't know how I'm doing for marksmanship down range, but there's sure pieces flying off that target stand. Jeez. I ain't hit the bullseye yet. That's all of them. Uh, this gun is not a pleasure to shoot. This is a rough shooting gun. Let's try five of the special Wildcats. See how they shoot. These appear to be a jacketed hollow point. These are loaded on Starline Bryce. <clears throat> All right, let's try it on double action, see if we do any better. I'll shoot a little better, be a little better. We have a dud. Hit it, but not very hard. Let's see. Let's try that one again. All righty. That's 15 rounds. Let's go down and look at the accuracy, shall we? <coughs> Let's go down and look at the accuracy. Train coming. Look at the old lack of accuracy. And there's not much. That was 15 rounds. <sighs> there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, I, I managed to hit it 10 times with a two inch barrel 41 Magnum at 15 yards. Uh, okay. That's about 60% accuracy. If you lived in bear country, if you lived in bear country, this would be a good gun to have. Uh, it has a lot of recoil. There's a reason why it's got magna ports in it. Uh, it has a lot of recoil. It's not a comfortable gun to shoot. It's not a pleasant gun to shoot. But definitely a good defensive gun uh, you know if you had smoky bear on crack running around your neighborhood you probably 
probably this would be a desirable gun. Uh, it's got a lot of felt recoil, but it's got a lot of power down range. Uh, doesn't appear to be a very good 15 yard gun, probably a much better seven yard gun. Uh, if you were threatened by big dangerous animals where you were, this would be an outstanding gun. Uh, if you were working uh, fugitive warrant section, you know, and you needed something with absolute stopping power at close range, uh, this would be a good gun to have. It's a little bit big for everyday carry, but uh, it's a very acceptable gun, I think, for the role that it's meant to build, which is a two-inch barrel heavy magnum handgun. Uh, value of this gun somewhere around $400. Uh, Tauruses don't command as high prices as a Smith & Wesson does. But this gun's definitely worth the money. Stainless steel, got good grips on it. Uh, works every time you pull the trigger. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a passing grade as a defensive gun, even though it is a little big. Well, uh, that's about the size of it for this installment of eight. I got this old used gun. Like, tape, share, fire, commentate, and subscribe. Leave me an old dollar in the Patreon bucket on the way out the door if you want to. And if you don't want to, I'll keep making content for you anyway. All right, then. We'll see y'all.